Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. Welcome everybody. I am in my car starting this video because I am ready to leave the house. I am going to my parents' house uh, to pick up my dad and we are leaving to a hardware store because I really want his help to help me to understand how to build big letters out of pipes you guys i am so excited for this i am hoping everything's going to turn out and they will look amazing because it's going to be such a huge help for you guys and for me as well another learning curve <laughs> enough talking you guys let's go let's go do the thing <laughs> Будут? Будут? Вот, вот тройничок, вот. You guys, this is a lot harder than I thought <laughs> it would be. It's like a puzzle for your brain, honestly. Success. Looks like we got everything. We had to order uh, four connector for four spots. From Amazon because they were out. Success, all loaded right there. Now we have to wait for the connectors and we're good to assemble. Okay, we transported ourselves into my parents' garage and my dad is trying to figure out right now what we're gonna do. So we decided that we're gonna try to do a letter D. That These pipes right here, we got them at Home Depot, no, Lowe's five feet long pre-cut pipes that Lowe's sells and we paid $1.72 I believe per pipe. I will give you all of the um, dimensions and all the prices uh, in the description under the video. And these are all of the connectors that we picked up. Here's the picture that we are planning to go for. So I want to create uh, like a 3D double wall D. So we are measuring the base for letter and we are going for eight inches. It cuts the pipes very easily and I'm pretty sure everyone has this or something similar at home. If Eight inches is a really good uh, space between my pipes because I can fit bigger size balloons and on top of bigger size balloons I can glue on smaller size balloons. Your pipe it's better to have a chair or a table because uh, like you did it before <laughs> it wasn't right it was not safe whatsoever. So it's a progress. We're almost done now. We understand how everything goes. We know all the measurements because it was a little too hard, you know, filming and measuring and explaining at the same time. So I will explain a little bit later what kind of pieces we used, what kind of connectors, how many of what. So it'll be a lot easier for you guys to follow this tutorial. last pipe that goes in but we need to still uh, cut those two inner pipes in half to yes. um, place a connector over here <laughs> we are done constructing the letter d it's looking very very good i'm gonna give you all the details and all the measurements and everything uh, when i'll get home and i'll get situated outdoors and I'm finally ready to spray paint with a brilliant gold spray paint. I bought my spray paint at Walmart and I also put a foam board on the ground and then D on top because I don't want any grass to be on the way when I am spray painting. Not sure if I will have enough uh, paint in this spray can. We'll see. If not, I would have to go and buy more. So
to you on spray painting my letter D. I ran out out of the gold color. I had to go to Walmart, grab more spray paint, and unfortunately, Walmart was sold out on the color that I was using before. So I had to grab a new gold, and now I need to repaint or spray paint the whole letter from top to bottom. Before we're gonna go and spray paint our letter, I want you to check out this t-shirt that I am wearing right now. Super cute, amazing print, really good quality, super soft and very comfortable. I will leave a link for this t-shirt in the description under this video. Check it out, let's grab our gloves and let's go and repaint or spray paint this letter again. Let me quickly tell you what I have here so you have a general idea of what I am using. So I am using 62 inch 2 pipes, 18 inch 4 pipes, 11 inch 8 pipes, 22 inch 4 pipes, 8 inch 16 pieces, 16 pipes, 43 inch 2 pieces, 15 inch pipes, Four pieces and with the connectors I have three side connectors four pieces four side connectors eight pieces 45 angle connectors 16 pieces and three side like a T side connectors four pieces we also bought 12 pipes each pipe was five feet tall when constructing your letter, please have a sketch of your letter because it's going to be a lot easier for you to construct the letter later on. Starting with the base, I am grabbing four pieces of my eight inch pipes and three side connectors, attaching my sides into the connectors, connecting two connectors together, attaching four side connectors on the other side of the base connecting connectors with an eight inch pipe pushing everything nice and tight together it's helpful if you have a rubber hammer that will be a lot easier you don't have to uh, use your hands i am facing these openings to the side because uh, this is where i will be adding the rest of my letter grabbing my tallest 62 inch pipes and feeding them on one side of my base Bring another set of three side connectors and placing them on top of my 62 inch pipes eight inches pipes into these connectors side connectors with the opening facing this way 43 inch pipes right on top of these connectors three side connectors on top with the opening facing that way eight inch pipe right on top of these connectors four side connectors with the opening on this side this side and this side facing me eight inch pipes to connect this portion of the letter 11 inch pieces into the top connectors 11 inch pieces in bottom connectors 18 inch pieces top connectors 18 inch pieces into the bottom connectors elbow connectors on all of the pipes the top elbows are facing down bottom elbows are facing up eight inch pipes into bottom inner connectors and top inner connectors elbows on eight inch pipes six inch pipes into elbows four side connectors to connect this portion openings facing this way and in the middle so we can connect these two pipes eight inch pipes and connecting right in the middle eight inch pipes and putting them into these connectors 11 inch pipes from the bottom 
Hello connectors right on top of these 11 inch pipes. 22 inch pipes into elbow connectors. Four side connectors right on top of these pipes with opening facing this way and this way. Putting these eight inch pipes into our connectors. 22 inch pipes right on top. Eight inch pipe connecting this section. Elbow connectors right on top. And last but not least, the 11 inch pipes connecting the rest of our letter. Pat everything really nice and tight together. And just like that, you have a beautiful letter out of PVC pipes. We constructed this with my father by testing, by measuring, by brainstorming how this letter needs to be done. It's definitely doable. You just need to have your measurements correct and have all of the connectors that you need. So first make a sketch and then it will be a lot easier for you to cut to brainstorm the rest of the letter construction you can do any letters just like this it's going to be easy for you to store and i hope it was understandable when i was explaining i will leave all the uh, specs and everything in the description under this video let's quickly go through all of the balloons before we're going to start to inflate them so i have lots and lots of tactics here in several colors we have mustard navy sea glass turquoise and blue slate i have variety of sizes here some of the colors they don't have 11 some of the colors they don't have 17 so i am using whatever i had uh, laying around in my filming room so these three colors sea glass turquoise and blue slate i am worried that once i take these three colors outside they will oxidize and you won't be able to tell the difference between them unfortunately that's what happens when balloons in close like shades of blues or any other colors oxidize they become basically the same color so hopefully they won't change the color too much so let's go inflate them i will list and link everything in the description under this video well since i am working with five colors which is a lot i want to make three colors as my main colors and then grab my navy and mustard colors and make it as my accent fillers pop of colors i am starting with sea glass as i said I am using whatever I have, so I have a little bit of 11, a little bit of 17, a little bit of everything. So two balloons, this time I'm grabbing 17 and 11 and inflating them at the same time. Once you have your balloons inflated, you can press them against yourself to give them more rounder shape. After you did that, take your two balloons and tie them together into a pair. I am tying my balloons pretty close together because I need those long and stretchy necks for construction of our balloon garland later. So inflating three more pairs of balloons like these. All right, I have four pairs of balloons inflated. To construct our clusters, I'm grabbing two pairs of balloons and interlining them together nice and tight. So no balloons will unwind and go places. Grabbing third, adding, interwinding. And last pair, adding into this smaller cluster. No! Victor, kick it, kick it. <laughs> One more time. I feel like I interwined my balloons very nice and tight together. And now I have this nice and beautiful cluster ready in uh, sea glass. I will be doing this, whatever I just did with this cluster, to every single other color except mustard and navy. I'm 
done inflating all of my balloons. As you can see, I inflated my mustard in navy, but I inflated them a little bit different. Instead of having a big clusters of balloons, I made them smaller. Smaller clusters have three pairs of balloons together. I also inflated some five inch balloons in each color, and unfortunately, navy didn't have five inch balloons. So I used only 11. I will use navy as a pop of uh, color, just a tiny bit. We'll see. So let's pack these balloons into bags, white bags, transportation bags, and we'll go outside. I will be packing every single color separately because I want to know which color is which, and I don't want to go through the back and digging the needed color for me. Except mustard and navy, I will pack them together. One of the newest frames that I have in my collection, I bought this frame a while ago. I will link it in the description under this video. Okay, you guys, so I bought this frame and I thought it would be like eight feet high. That's what I thought I read, but then raise it up. This is how tall this thing is when we set everything up. Can you imagine? This is like super tall. Almost, what is it, nine feet? Almost nine feet tall. So we're gonna remove one portion of this um, frame and we're gonna make it shorter. I am not entirely happy with this frame. Yes, it's a good quality, good paint job, easy to set up, but it's way too narrow and it's way too short or it's way too tall. <laughs> we removed some pieces to make it shorter as you saw us do it. I don't need this frame to be nine feet tall because it's unsafe. The bases are not wide enough to hold the height of this frame. So now I'm kind of like slightly annoyed and frustrated because this letter over here is five feet tall. Five and six does not look too good in my opinion. I don't know. I needed this frame to be a little bit higher to complement each other. You know what I mean? So I don't know what I want to do. Either switch out the frames or use this frame and see what I can create with it. I don't know. Hmm. Let's construct our balloon garland like usual. I am grabbing clusters of balloons. This time I am going for different colors, finding the longest and stretchiest necks inside of the clusters and tying both clusters together. Repeating that until I am happy with the length of my balloon garland. To attach my balloon garland to my frame, I simply pushed my balloons on top of the frame, grabbed two balloons from opposite sides and crisscrossed them to lock the frame. Started building my balloon garland a little bit more by adding extra clusters of balloons and started working with navy and mustard. construct my balloon garlands, I used rubber bands and two 60s balloons. I don't know what to do. <laughs> At this point, I was really struggling. I felt like something was missing. I tried to add an extra frame, add some pompous grass, and I was almost happy with it.
and you guys this is my setup the more i look at it the more i like it but overall i am not completely happy with the setup i feel like something's missing i needed to add something but i can't figure out what maybe i was way too confident in this color combo maybe the navy is not working here maybe it's way too dark i don't know something something's something's not exactly how i like my setups to be but on the other hand it's very cute it's very geometric so let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this color combo about everything that you see here what needed to be added or removed that would be great and yeah you guys comment like share subscribe for more videos and i will see you back very soon bye second changes i added this section of balloons literally right before i was about to take everything down and i like it so much better it added another element into this setup you guys there's a moon right there it's so dark but camera is catching all the light that it can and yeah i am much more happier than i was before with this setup let me know what you think about the change i feel like it adds a lot all right that's it for today have a good night <laughs>